I lost $25,000 in crypto, and I wanna share my story so you can learn and not make the same mistakes as me. Here's what happened. It was spring of 2021. Crypto NFTs, they're all the rage, and my young mind is thinking, oh, this is really cool. I had saved up about $32,000 by this point, and then I discovered the most dangerous app you could possibly have on your phone. Robinhood. I spend weeks getting into all these charts and stocks, looking at them go up, down, and playing in my head, wow, if I had just bought this two weeks ago, I would have made so much money. So naturally, I made the mistake of putting all my portfolio into crypto. Here's a huge financial lesson. If you're putting money into a speculative investment like crypto or NFTs or essentially gambling, don't put in any money you wouldn't want to lose. In just a few weeks of investing in crypto, I had lost $25,000. And to actually come to terms with this loss, took me months. I was angry, I was mad at myself, I was telling myself I should have known better, why did I do this? Through this agonizing process, I was able to learn a couple lessons I'm gonna tell you right now. Number one, only invest in what you know. I grew up my whole life playing football. I've definitely spent over 10,000 hours and I played at a university in the US. I feel very confident in my abilities and if I was to play against somebody else, I could definitely hold my own. But you know where I don't feel confident? basketball. I'm okay. I'm decently athletic, but anybody who's been playing for a few hundred hours in their life is going to smoke me because I don't know what I'm doing. It's easy to see this in sports. This is exactly what happens with investing in business. If somebody has been working on Wall Street for 10 years and you're putting your money in options and calls, hoping you're going to hit it big, they are going to steal your money so fast. It's their area of expertise and for you it's not. If you know that area really well, don't go invest in something different because there's somebody here who knows even more than you know in your area of expertise. They're gonna see you, you're not gonna know what you're doing, and they're gonna take your lunch money so fast. Invest in your area of expertise because that's where you're gonna get the best return. Number two, anything that goes into a speculative investment, you have to be okay to lose. I looked at crypto as though I was for sure gonna make money because look at all these cool stories online where everybody else did. That was survivorship bias where the people who made it to the top were sharing their story. But everybody else who got pooped on, I didn't hear about them. Number three, I was taking financial advice from people who said millionaires have an average of seven streams of income. And that's true for people who already are millionaires. But when you look at how they got there, almost all their wealth comes from one place. And they typically only had one or maybe two streams of income by the time they hit it big. What that means is people got wealthy by doing one thing really well, not by doing seven. They diversified after they had the capital to do so. And the fourth lesson that I learned was to not beat yourself up. I thought about the car I could have purchased, the trips I could have been on, all of these things that were just eating me down. And while it's true that I did lose money that would have allowed me to do that, it didn't help me to just beat myself up about it. What happened in my mind was I saw this kid curled up in a ball on the side of the street and I decided to go curb stomping over and over and over again. That's not good for your head. When you make a mistake, it's okay to be sad and be angry. It's a normal emotion, but make sure you learn lessons from it so you don't go through that again. I hope this helps one person who's looking at investing or crypto or stocks or financial advice in general. If you have any questions, let me know down below. I'll answer as honestly as I can. This is not financial advice. Please don't sue me. You're awesome. See ya.